Um, so the depth on this team has been highlighted, you know, throughout the season and obviously in the postseason, the rotation grows smaller, but it seems like guys like, you know, Javon and Langston and Frank, even if they're not playing, they're still making their voices heard from the sidelines, supporting you guys, picking you up, you know, sometimes literally picking you guys up, uh, throughout the game. Just how much of an impact have those reserve players on the sidelines been throughout these playoffs? Oh, they do a great job of bringing a lot of positive energy. Um, you know, guys like that are invaluable. Things might not be going great all the time. Things might be going great. Either way, they're there to pick us up, to give us any bit of advice or any anything they see. And it just keeps that, that team spirit, that team mood, um, and, and, and it keeps it high. It keeps it elevated. And, and they've done a great job of that. And they've done a great job. Anybody who's not been in the game, whether they're hurt or just not playing that game all season, have done a great job of, of elevating the team. Next up is going to be Trevor Booth from Bright Side of the Sun, followed by Christo Saltos. Hey, Cam, just curious on the challenges you've seen on film this postseason that Milwaukee presents for you guys. Obviously, a lot of capable wings and stars to keep in check. So just one of the things you're honing in on for this series. Um, all those things, man. You know, you, you got a guy like Giannis to go up against. Um, he, he presents a lot of unique challenges and just the way he attacks. Um, and then they got guys like Chris and Drew who can who can really play, who can really score. And Brooke, who's been playing real well, Bobby. Um, so these are guys that are really capable across the board. Um, they got some size to them. Um, so we're going to, you know what I mean, try to try to slow them down as best we can. Next up is Christos Saltos from Greece, followed by Kevin Zimmerman. Hello, Cameron. Hope you're doing well. How, uh, with Giannis, he's not sure if he's going to play in the NBA Final Series. How different is the game with and without him on the floor for you? And how important is to set the tone and what you need to do to set the tone from the first minute? Um, you know, having a guy like that play or not play, you know, it, 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 it changes things. But no matter what, they got guys that can really play. So while it may change some, some little things on, on, you know, our positioning and, and what we're doing out there, um, it's, it's still going to be a really good team to go up against. Um, so what we have to do is we just have to bring it to them, um, be physical, um, and, and take the fight to them and, 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 you know, play our style of basketball that's got us to this point. Next up is Kevin Zimmerman from Arizona Sports, followed by Jose Romero. Hey, Cam, I know you guys uh, obviously are one of the last two teams standing, and luck has a lot to do with injuries and that kind of thing. But from your perspective, can you kind of take us into what you see behind the scenes as you guys – go through a whole season, get through the playoffs to this point and, and stay relatively healthy as just from a work standpoint and your trainers helping you guys out and all that stuff. Yeah, I think they've done a great job so far this year. Um, and, you know, it, like you said, you know, some of it is just uncontrollable. I mean, some of these injuries that you've seen in these past couple of weeks and months, you see, they just nothing you could really do to prevent that. Um, so luck has to be a portion of them for sure, but I think our strength staff, our, our training staff, they do a great job of um, injury prevention stuff and, and rehabbing whatever might be wrong. So a uh, big shout out to them for sure. Next up is Jose Romero from the Arizona Republic. Sorry. Hey, Cam, uh, I'm going to try to throw a fun one here at you. Um, we're hearing that uh, back in Pittsburgh at your Catholic school, there's there's nuns there that have uh, formed a Johnson fan club. Uh, can you just talk about your time there and and, and uh, what what that means to you, just knowing that that supports back there? Um, that's awesome. Um, that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I did go to a Catholic school and the convent was right next door. So the nuns would, would come and go sometimes and some of them were more involved than others. But um, my mom was a school nurse there for a lot of years. And so she had some relationships with them and, and, and they're very nice, very sweet. Um, so that, that's really awesome. Thanks. Next up is Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hi, Cam. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Cam, what does it mean to you to play in these NBA finals? And what do you think will be the keys against the box? Uh, this means a lot. And um, obviously watch the finals every year of my life. Um, and it's obviously something that, millions and millions of people around the world would would give a lot to be a part of um so the the fact that that myself and my team um and everyone in this organization has an opportunity to play in it is is incredible um and and you know i'm just really thankful um that 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 i have this opportunity all right we'll now take some questions in the room go ahead david 
Yeah. You yep. might have answered this earlier, but uh, heard you had food poisoning and in game six and everything. What'd you eat? And like, I what, don't know, man. Like, what, I, how, how frustrating was that? And how are you now? It was frustrating for sure. And another part of it is like, you know, what I mean, it's game six of the um, Western Conference Finals, and you come down with something like that. Everybody in the world knows. So it's like can't even take my L in, in, in peace and silence. Um, but I'm fine. It was just a, a rough night. And um, obviously, if it wasn't, if it was something different than that, didn't want anybody else to get it. So I just want to keep my distance. Um, and it, I have a lot of trust and faith, obviously, in, in the guys to the point where I left and I felt um, really, really comfortable with, with what our guys are capable of. And I definitely watched the game with kind of an aura of peace, knowing that, that we we're going to take care of it. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, it was about a month ago, a little over a month ago, when you guys are down 2-1 to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. um, Jay had been ejected, Devin had been ejected, and it looked like maybe it was a moment where things could go one of two ways, right? Um, what do you remember about the, how this team reacted to that moment, and how important do you think kind of the response to that? Did it set a tone for kind of who you guys have been the rest of this postseason? Yeah, for sure. Uh, one thing Coach always says is it, it talks about his poise. Um, and obviously that was a big moment where we, we had we had to show it and we just we got guys that make plays and make big timely plays um, and you know to push through every obstacle we've pushed through in, in the past season and um, the season before in these playoffs and each individual series um, it it really builds up a a sort of pride to be a part of it and it's something that that we all want to defend and it's something that we all really really hope to push in, into something even greater. So that goes round, around, around. Um, and like, like I said before, like I have a lot of joy being a part of this team. Um, and, and these are guys that I fight for, a staff that I fight for, an organization that I fight for. And that's, that's the bottom line right there. One more question, go ahead, Dwayne. Yeah, Cam, first, congrats on getting here to the finals. And then secondly, Chris and DeAndre have started game one of each series very strong. What, what is it, what are you sensing in there, maybe even going into each, start of a series that makes that leads you to thinking that they're going to play well uh one they're very good players and two they, they've been locked in along with everybody else but they've they've really been locked in um and and those performances obviously have been huge for us and it, it'd be really nice to get get another one of those tomorrow